in a strong form efficient market people with private or inside information trade on that information and thereby reveal the information it might seem strange that private information could be reflected in share prices before it becomes public but market participants don't have to know the information in order to trade in such a way that the information is reflected in share prices for example if you saw that the directors of a company were all buying shares in that company you might decide to buy shares as well even though you're not in possession of the information that they are using as a result of trading by those with private information as well as trading by others who don't actually possess the information prices move in such a way that that information is reflected in current prices before the information becomes public it's important to note that because strong form efficiency is based on all information this includes public information as well as the record of past prices and therefore a strong form efficient market must be semi strong form and weak form efficient this is an example of what might happen to share prices in a strong form efficient market even before information has been released people trading on that information and others have caused the share price to reflect that information before it is released so that when it is released there is no further change in share price the implications of a strong form efficient market are that it is impossible to consistently earn an abnormal return by analyzing any information to try and identify mispriced securities the logical conclusion is that even insider trading is a waste of time insider trading means trading by company insiders such as company directors who might be tempted to buy or sell their company's shares based on information that they are in possession of before it becomes public insider trading is illegal but that doesn't mean that it doesn't occur